an impressive statue right across from Viru bus stop in Tallinn, 1905. Pretty little statue decorates this mini park right next to Viru Towers and that park that we walked through. This is the other side of the wall that is parallel to my street that my hostel's on. Plus a pretty brick building they built in against it at some point in time. Here the wall continues for this large church. The structures have been built up on the wall, a relatively new one there and then this one. Now, they may not be on the wall as much as their buildings on the other side of the wall that incorporate the wall. It's the archway that passes through to my street. This is the exposed remains of a building first mentioned in 1371 belonging to a wealthy burger. I believe a burger is not something McDonald's created in those days, but rather a wealthy merchant. We wear our old buildings with what we would call in America ancient lineage road, which was the Holy Spirit road coming from the Holy Spirit Church, I believe, from the Central Market to the harbor in the day of 1636 and 1464. This was a granary and an outhouse registered to a merchant. This of two granaries that are connected by winding staircase. Now I don't know if this is extant, I haven't got time. But it's interesting to imagine that people live and occupy these places with that kind of history. Seen at about 710 is the setup in the main square, the town hall square of Tallinn, and will probably look very much like it was when we came here on the cruise and visited this very spot. This is not an idle occupation for many. It's a Mercedes sitting there. Many of the vehicles are brand new and the people themselves are dressed well. Many speak English, of course they have to. Interesting iron gate treatment. Relatively old, but probably not that old. Within the last hundred years, I would imagine, but I could be wrong. Interesting, 1835. Looks like it's made out of iron, or maybe even brass. Lock off the main square near that pretty church and this famous confectionery. Across the street from the confectionery is the great guild hall. I have interpreted it as a church when we first looked at it. Wrong again. Only the heavyweights and clerks came through here. Organization for Major Merchants in International Trade, 1407 to 17. air heating and balcony for musicians and the stairway that led to the bridal chamber. And those lion head door knockers are from 1430 and they apparently say around the lion in what looks like a design that's actually a script says God bless all who come here. of the small window which theoretically held the pulley for pulling stuff up and that other window imply a father and son configuration for this old house. Whatever that represents I don't know or whatever it means I don't know. This small detail in the corner 
probably the coat of arms of the family. Apparently used to be two structures, two homes, as dated in 1360 and on the street behind the big church next to the information center that I first walked on my first day in pursuit of a different hostel. Very pretty street, old. I think that reflects the joining of two structures, each with their own loading support and window. As two dwelling units, they were known from the late 1300s. The adjoining building, somewhat interesting, of course, but these buildings from the date that Columbus took off. The church has its loading window. This house built in the 13th century as the Vuru residence of the Livonian order, hence the name. Uh, Rutuli, or whoever you pronounce that, or Knight Street. Here, a nice amenity where the homes used to be. Place where you can lie like out on a lounge with that water bubbling underneath the glass in this little park. There's our Rutuli Street. <laughs> 